Today I'm going to be talking about the PicMax Floating Pick. Now, why is this called the floating pick? Because as you can see, the pick actually floats around in this grip area. It's right over here. I've been receiving a lot of questions about this pick since I used this on my playthrough videos. Uh, so let me talk about why I've been using it for the last four years. I play a unique instrument called the NS stick, which is basically a Chapman stick and a Neil Steinberger bass hybrid. Originally, I started off as a guitar player, so I was used to playing with a pick. I was basically looking for a way to transition between picking and tapping quickly without worrying about losing my pick. Before you had to set your pick down and forget where you put it or drop it or lose a few seconds when you put it in your mouth or even worse, or accidentally eat it when it's in your mouth. With the pick max, you don't have to worry about accidentally eating it if it's in your mouth because if you did that, I'm pretty sure that you'll just suffocate and die. The pick max never leaves your hand even when you're tapping. When you're holding a pick, you usually only have these three fingers to tap with. But because the pick max is on the grip, you can actually free up your index finger, which for most people is one of the stronger fingers and tap with all four fingers. Uh, there's different techniques to do to achieve this. Uh, you can move your index finger out and have a pick drop, just like that, freeing up your fingers. Or you can flick your wrist and have the pick right above your thumb, like this. Uh, I actually prefer this method, and I'll tell you why. The reason why is when I go back to picking and when I have a pick below my thumb, sometimes I'll accidentally grab over the pick like this. And to avoid this, I got used to just flicking my wrist and getting the, thumb, getting the pick above my thumb, uh, like that. So I'm picking along, boom, I'm tapping now, and back to picking, boom, tapping, back to picking, tapping, back to picking, just like that. Also using the same principle, you can actually slap with your fingers without the pick leaving your hand. Uh, changing the picks on the pick backs is simple, but you have to use their proprietary picks. You can't use your own. Uh, simply grab the pick max and get this to focus. So as you can see, there's like a little dot right here on the inside of the pick. Uh, just take a pen or something, just stick it in there and push. And this part just slides right off just like that. And once that slides off, the pick itself will come right out as well too, just like that. And set that aside. Get the new pick from the pack, just right in here. And once you got the new pick, the process is the exact same thing. Grab the piece, grab the piece, slide the pick right through, just like that, it's in. Let's grab the pick max and just slide it in just like that, right over here, and you're good to go. Uh, there's different types of gauges available, even thick and thin jazz pick options as well too. Now another benefit is for beginners and people with disabilities. Now if you notice, I'm in a wheelchair right now and it's because I got into a motorcycle accident recently and I tore my leg tendon and I can't really walk right now. And I, my thumb got dislocated and I lost a significant amount of grip on both hands. The pick mac also serves as a training wheel for new players since it forces you to hold the pick properly. And I use the term properly very loosely because there really isn't a proper way to hold the pick. I mean, you can hold the pick with three fingers like how Hetfield holds it or like Van Halen when he has a finger open to start tapping. With the pick max, you're forced to hold the pick like this, a traditional way. Um, so, yeah, there's no other way you can hold the pick. You, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to, you have to grip it like you're gripping a gun and play like that. It's good. It's a good tool for beginners or people who want to hold the the pick the standard way to get into the habit of doing that. 
Uh, with that being said though, if you're used to playing the pick and you hold it a different way, then this is not for you. Because this is the only way you can hold the pick max, it's just like this. So to review, the benefits of the pick max are... If you're disabled or a beginner, the pick max will act as a training wheel to help you hold your pick. If you switch between tapping or using your thumb or fingers and picking often, then the pick max will help you not lose your pick. If you're prone to losing picks all the time, the pick max will help you since it's kind of hard to lose this thing on the ground. Now the cons are, you cannot hold the pick any other way than the traditional grip. You are stuck to pick max's proprietary picks. There is a learning curve coming from traditional picks, uh, different muscles are used. The initial investment is more expensive. The pick max grip costs around 20 bucks and a pack of 5 picks costs around 7. So look over the benefits and cons and see if this is a worthy investment for you. Well, hopefully this answered some questions for you guys. And if you have more questions, just go ahead and comment below and I'll try my best to answer them.